Hello everyone and welcome back to Hollow Knight. On the last episode, we explored some of the Howling Cliffs and got everything that was no a hound. Yes, we did that last episode. That, that was the last episode. We got ourselves a new nail art as well. And also we instigated something happening in Dirtmouth. Um and we also came back here to the rest of the grounds and went to the seer to uh redeem some dream essence for her. Um and on this episode um, we're going to go around and do some things, and then probably just go around that um, the, that door that she opened for us. We're, we're going to go through there, but first, we're going to do some other things because there are things that need to be done. Uh, so first, you may recall, um, I believe we have enough pale ore to get another nail upgrade, from what I remember. Uh, yes, we need another two, and we have another two. Isn't that just marvelous? Um, but, um, we are also going to need cash, and therefore we're going to drop by Lem. This was probably the wrong... Wait, hang on, where is Lem again? Um, it was probably the right stack station to come to in that case. Never mind, we're fine. Ow. So first to Lem, and then to the Nailsmith. Around that place in the resting ground. So yes, fair warning: this episode is not going to be very uh, important, really, um, in terms of story progress or anything, because that yard, while nice, is largely um, unrelated to what's going on. But I want to show it because it's a nice place. Shockingly enough, not actually much that we can still do here in the city of Tears. We've done most of what we can, um, despite how big the place is. Um, yeah, we've done most everything, although I think there's one place that we can still place. There's a couple of places that we can still go to, but I mean right now. So we've got a Wanderer's Journal for 200. A Wanderer's Journal? Have you heard that saying about stone journals? If danger lurks close by and your nail has doled with wear, you swing your journal at your foes with blunt and deadly flare. It's a good one, isn't it? And accurate. They sure have a heft to them. Yeah, they're made of stone. And a seal for 450. Lovely. A hell and a seal. Panted collector, right? The best I've met. If you keep at it, I'll run out of space in the shop. And Bell the King's the Idol, which sells for 800. Uh, an icon of Hellenist King who is revered as both a god and a ruler. Made out of a mysterious white material. These are very rare. Th these are rare and very valuable. 800, not bad. A King's Idol, oh, eh? Hellenist King was an elusive figure, defied by. No, deified by the citizens. The King rarely seen worship was off offered through these idols. As an expert crafter, then few alive could match this skill. Velmi Artrid. Well, that'll, be, that'll explain why you're chill. getting it. So, um, Velmi so we're going to use this to go and upgrade our nail for the third time. Velmi Another king's idol, we visited the remnants of his palace, at, is down below his kingdom in the bedrock. It, it's down below the city in the bedrock of the kingdom, goodness me. Must have been an impressive sight in its time, now there's nothing left. It's a strange thing though, there are no signs of conflict around the area, it's as though the whole place just vanished. Looks like you don't have any relics on you. If you manage to find any in good condition, bring them to me and I'll give you a fair amount of geo for them. Yeah, we'll do. Um, in case you're wondering, yes, I uh, went and re repaired Fragile Breed off screen. Um, which is why we were even poorer to start off this episode. No so, wall like Crystal Dash off. Yes, there is. Excellent. Who needs to fight enemies when you can just sail over them? Far easier. I know you used to go through this area when you can just wall jump and then crystal dash. It's that easy. Would have been really embarrassing if I fell off there and then had to go up anyway. Uh -huh. Oh, you've returned. Run, I see you have to pay a lot. A rare fine metal. I give me the order and for my efforts and I'll reforge your nail to make it stronger. This time he wants 2,000, so even with all those artifacts, it's quite a significant portion of what we have. As you wish, I'll get to work.
Garadel Akari. Here we are. The reforging is complete. I've modified the nail to spiral form a very tricky task it was. You'll find it stronger than ever before. Off you go now. Cut your way forward. Uh, the coil nail, a powerful weapon of power that's refined beyond all others. Thank you very much. Oh, actually, has he got anything else to say? Hmm? Uh -huh. Oh, you've returned. Uh -huh. You've been three pieces of pale ore. I can forge it into your I can forge it into your nail and make it stronger still. Did we look into his nail to forge the perfect nail? Yeah, I think we did. Um So now we're just gonna head back to the resting ground. Um do look around that place. Well, I was gonna say it'd be close to wall jump, but if it's just bad, it is. I guess not. Uh, I guess we can take this chance to see how strong it is. Them in two hits now. Good lord. Mm, fighting enemies after you get a new nail always be, it feels so powerful. Except the ones that are weak. Didn't stand a chance. I wonder if the big guys, how long they take to go down. Oh, one hit. Or was it one hit before? I forget how many it was before. But the point is, we are shredding for everything now. Oh my god. They don't stand a chance. I probably should have gotten a drink before the step because I get the feeling I'm going to be doing a lot of dialogue. Well, not dialogue, but talking. Ow. Oh, you really want me to kill you, don't you? Fine. Oh my god. Just because just we've got a new nail. Right. Stag boy, back to the resting grounds, please. Once we take a rest on this bench. Okay. Now, back to the resting grounds. I suppose we could have also picked up some cash from the grub father, but we can drop by there to found more grubs. It's fine. It's fine. It's great. It is peaceful here. Bugs within this glade are under my watch. Treat them with respect and you may remain. Raise your nail and you're contending with me. Sorry, what was your name? Revek. By Revek. I assure you, Andrew, my nail is sharp and I'll not hold back. Uh, yeah, he's not kidding. If you try and use your dream nail on any of these of these spirits here, uh, Revek will come after you, and you cannot take out Revek, and he deals two masks uh, for every time he hits you. Uh, you don't, you don't want to do this. Basically, don't do it. Um, there are only one dream essence each, so it's not worth it. Why my cookies? They are so tasty. Millie bug by my photo of Koji. Caspian by Botrocus. Beware your own mind, little one. Twisted minds breed dark deeds, and mine were more twisted than most. I thought it would be my end, but instead I found this blade, and with it, a sort of peace. So this place is filled with characters created by Kickstarter backers. Um, as were some of the Dream Warriors. Uh, well, no, all the Dream Warriors we've been fighting were also made by those. Dr. Chagax by Manuel Pere Pereira de Queracon. I can't say that, I'm sorry. I used to help others. They were brought to me sick and dying. What difference did it make? Any victory against death will always be temporary. Well, my best Mr. Catitude. Atro by Jonathan Cowie. Don't fear, little creature. Though a violent rage once possessed me, the peace flare in this place seems to keep it at bay. Rohag by George Rohag. 
We're always left with reminders of the errors we've made. Let your mistakes not burden you, but serve as guideposts on where not to travel. Pretty good advice, as far as I'm concerned. That's where we came in. Great, okay. Gonna waste some time there. Where do them have... Oh yeah, some of them do have things on a second visit. Do you think Dark Falls is little one? When hidden behind a visage as impassive as your own, I find it hard to accept. Um, they're usually just repeating what they said. My opinion should not cause you worry. Here, I am truly at peace. These husks around my neck, they're my precious friends, always there to keep me company and much better for conversation than the rest of the odd lot around here. Okay, sure. Uh, you're just gonna repeat the same thing, yep. 100 Nail Warrior by John Nugent. Like my nails, little wanderer, I carry only three, far less than the legends may suggest. Still, each is sharper than the last, and I'd require only one to cut you down. Yeah. Aren't my nails the most wonderful things? Their gleaming blades so sharp and deadly. Sure. Karina by Karina Weber. Are you admiring my fabulous markings? I'm of a distinguished species, you see, though I've not seen another like me for the longest time. You don't seem to bear the markings of rank, though you bear no markings of a lower form. What are you? Do tell me, are you a higher being or just another lowly grub? Um, good question. Nothing there as much as it looks like a little hidden spot. Nothing. Perpetual Snoo by Perpetual Noob. <laughs> are you enjoying your time in our glade? I'd offer advice, though to have made it here you're obviously quite adept at navigating our world in its perils. You're very impressive for such a small thing. I'm something of a warrior myself, though even I'd hesitate to raise my nail against you. Uh, seems like a lot of them don't realise they've passed on. Molten by Drew Jason Closser. Don't fear my rotting form. Though my body sheds and changes, my core remains the same. Yeah. Magnus Strong by Jason de Gaulle. All of life's problems can be solved with crushing force. Such a simple mantra, one I've always lived by. If you weren't so scrawny, I'd suggest you follow my example. Remember, tiny bug, crush your fears, crush your problems, crush your foes. I mean, it certainly is a mantra to live by, and a good one is debatable. But, um, where are we? Yeah, is this, yeah, it's with them. Alright, in that case. Wait, well, I'm, I should just stop trying to check that we're getting everyone going. Oh well. Baldy by David Baldy. Don't judge me by appearance, though my stature is small, I bear a dark soul and a tendency to go berserk in battle. You wouldn't have the guts to face me anyway. That's so. Wayner by Jeff Brooks. Hark, fellow adventurer, are you heading out into the world? I join you, but it's been so long. I fear I'd lose my head. I'm envious of you facing the world without fear. I can stand to learn from your approach. Um. Sure, yeah. That, that's what's going on there. Wyatt by Jack Ursid. Watch out! I have an acidic touch and I wouldn't want you getting burned. It's a protection system of my kind, though something of a nuisance when it comes to meeting others. Yeah, I'd imagine so. Shaking hands. Don't get too close. I'd not wish to cause any harm. Hex by B.B. Williams. I'll see you soon, she said, though that was long ago. I wonder where she went. Go bother someone else. Another one I'm waiting for. Alright. Thistlewind by Sasha Trump. Ah, Wanderer. I've been many places and done a great many things, but I suspect you will outdo me by far. I've long ceased travelling the caverns of Harrowness, and I suspect they're now far more dangerous than in my journeys. But with your capable there, I'm sure you'll do fine. Good luck. It's a vast world out there. You find it strange to see a moth wielding a weapon? We are a passive species, though I'm not the only one amongst us to take up arms. Another braved the edges of the world, hoping to uncover a truth long forgotten. I wonder what became of him. Yeah, it's basically the only other moth we've seen other than the seer. Strange. Boss, by Will James. I came from far away to reach this place, though my shell may seem foreign, beneath it I am a bug the same as you. You too are, warrior? I see your nail, but your shell seems underdeveloped. In your current state, to travel a land as dangerous as this seems unwise. Some of them have confidence in us, some of them don't. Which is fair enough. And... Shockingly enough, here in the Spirit's Glade, there is a dream room. 
we go along the places that we've been first. First one is yeah, we'll jump down here to grab those two and then grab the ones along here. Some new ones. Garo by Jose Angel Lara. Are you a warrior, little one? A true warrior is one who can stand strong in the midst of a storm. Stand strong, little warrior. Sin by Nick. <laughs> I was once obsessed with power through my time within this glade that shed me of desire. I, I, I couldn't even read that one properly. What folly it was to ever crave such a vicious thing. Seeking power is a hollow goal. Best to search for other things. Yes, I think you may be right. I'm gonna grab the one from here. Oh, we missed it up there. Oh, okay. Well, that's gonna be a pain to remember to get. But, oh well. I'll see if I remember, and if I don't. Oops. Hello. Bunch of moth statues of the king's idol. I'm confused. a solid like nine minutes okay. oh I still missed the dream essence why the hell was there the entry no and where on earth is it oh were fan-made characters in the Kickstarter leading up to making this game. And it really shows that the creators of this game cared about not only the people who were, not only the game itself, but the people who helped them make it. Um, there we go, now the game is done. And we need to go all the way back up to get there. Okay. The creators really cared about this game and the people who helped them make it. They let them put their own characters in. They promised such good things on the Kickstarter and they delivered on all of them. Or over delivered um, on the goals that were met with the. They promised uh, a, a DLC and they're making the entire sequel for it instead, which is completely ridiculous, really. Sacred memories. Honored souls. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it for the Spirit of Blade. I guess we can head off and go to the grub father to finish off since we might as well take cash. But yeah, like I said, not a particularly aggressive episode, but a good one all the same. Um yeah it's quick to go to Dartmouth and then go down rather than go on crossroads. You need the lift, just need to not be on, on top. Uh, yeah, still not bothering with whatever's over there. I I think we will do that next time, though. I think. No promises. Now, those go down in three hits. I feel those already went down in one. Go down in three regular ones with one great smash. 
go. Thank you for all the money. Now, oh, Godfather, what do you got for us? I know it's been only one or two since the last game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, just for two. But that was still a good 405 year for us, so that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll end it there for now. Um, yeah, no, we definitely get what's up there. Uh, yeah, we're gonna head back up to Dirt Map and finish it off there, but in this episode of Hollow Knight, we upgraded our nail, another level, uh, and we ventured into the Spirit's Glade and talked to all of the resting spirits in there. And next time, we're gonna see what on earth is going on on this end of town and why Elder Bug is so upset about it. Um, but until then, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.